good morning students today we discuss about 11th commerce in this morning video we discuss the chapter partnership in the previous classes we discuss about Hindu undeveloped family and the meaning definition of partnership and advantages and disadvantage so in this video we discuss about the content of partnership deed so in this content of partnership deed it is one of the main agreement created by the partners in the partnership firm so partnership deed is an articles of partnership and it is one of the agreement prepared by two or more persons and they should agreed all the terms and conditions of partnership it can be oral or written but uh, it is desirous to become written agreement will helps the partnership business in order to any misunderstanding not will arise in future so there are various content will be involved in partnership deed first name of the firm should be mentioned nature of proposed business duration of partnership if any that is how long the partnership firm will run the time duration should be mentioned in the partnership deed and then capital contribution that is the amount contributed by each and every partner in the partnership firm that should be mentioned in partnership deed each and every partner should contribute their capital in the partnership firm so that amount should be mentioned in the agreement and then withdrawal from the firm it is the right of the partner they can take amount from the partnership firm for their personal purpose so as per the partnership deed withdrawal of partner from the firm is allowed profit loss sharing generally the profit and loss of the partnership firm will be shared by the partners in an agreed ratio that agreed ratio will be mentioned in the partnership deed if there is no agree agree ratio they can share profit losses equally partners will share profit losses equally interest and capital as the partnership deed agree the partners are allowed to take interest from their capital so the partnership firm is ready to give interest on partners capital if partnership agreement is allowed to give interest on capital and then rate of interest on drawings so the rate of interest will be charged by the partnership firm from the partners drawings it is also allowed in the partnership deed loan from partners the partners will give loan to the partnership firm so the partnership firm will get loan from the partners or partner's wife and, and the interest will be given for that by the firm to the partner those who gave loan account keeping maintenance of accounts and audit will be possible in the case of partnership accounts partnership firm salary and commission to partner amount of salary or commission payable to partner for their service it will be allowed in the partnership deed if there is no deed if the partnership deed is silent then salary and commission will not be given to the partners and then retirement so when the retirement is from the partners the partnership deed will allow the partner to make retirement from the partnership so retirement matters related to retirement of a partner the arrangement to be made for paying out the amount due to the retired or deceased partner in the partnership firm and then goodwill valuation method of valuing goodwill 
on the admission, death or retirement of a partner. So value of goodwill is must at the time of admission or retirement of a partner. So in the case of admission retirement, as per the partnership deed, the goodwill of the firm will be valued. And then distribution of responsibility. Responsibility means duties. The work that is entrusted to each partner is better stated in the deed. Dissolution procedure. So procedure for dissolution of the firm and uh, mode of settlement of the partners will be mentioned uh, in the partnership deed. Then arbitration of disputes. Arbitration in case of dispute among partners, the deed should provide the method for settling disputes or difference of opinion. This clause will avoid costly litigations. <coughs> and then we discuss about the various kinds of partners. That is types of uh, partners. So in the case of partners types, the first partner is active partner. He is took part in the management and uh, put contribution of capital also. So a partner who take active part in the conduct of the partnership firm he is known as an active partner and uh, every partner is entitled to manage its affairs. All may not to do so. Next sleeping partner that is this type of partner he contribute capital and do not take part in the management of the business but he share the profit or loss of the firm. He contribute capital, share the profit or loss, but should not take part in the management. He is called as a sleeping partner. Nominal partner means this partner will never contribute capital or never took part in the management of the firm. Such a partner is called as nominal partner. Just he wants to use his name in the partnership firm to be a partner. So he only lends his name to the firm because on the strength of his name and reputation the firm may attract additional business and funds very easily. And then partner in profit only. So this type of partner will share profit only not in the share of a loss. Such partner is called as partner in profit only. And his liability will also unlimited. Then partner by estoppel. In case a person represent himself or herself by words or action or has allowed him to be represented as a partner of the firm, even though he is not a partner, he is called partner by estoppel. A person is not a partner in the partnership firm but uh, he believed that the outsiders to be as a partner in the partnership firm for any legal purposes. Partner by holding out. When a person is declared as a partner and he does not deny his even after becoming aware of it, he becomes liable to the third party also. Such a partner is called as partner by holding out. Secret partner means a partner is one whose association is not known to the general public. That is, such partner will not be shown as a partner to the public, but uh, he is a partner in the partnership firm. So other than these distinct features, he is like rest of the partners in all aspects. Minor partner. So under the Indian Majority Act, person who has not completed 18 years of age is a minor. However, the partner will continue as a partner in the partnership firm by his wish. After till the completes of 21 years, if a guardian has been appointed to be a assistant to the minor partner, he can be admitted to the benefit of the partnership firm because of legally minor will not be allowed as a partner in the partnership firm. But the benefit of the partnership firm 
for partnership purpose point of view minor can be admitted as a partner with that we conclude this video student you can go through all the points which are taught in this video and write in your commas assignment notebook send task complete message in the group thank you